In this playlist, I'm going to show my configuration of PHP Storm IDE. I usually tend to hide many elements to make UI as clean as possible to force myself to use keyboard most of the times. So the setup that I'm going to show will be minimalistic. So let's start. Here is how PHP Storm looks like without applying any custom configurations. And the first thing that we are going to do is to change theme. By the way, to open up PHP Storm settings on macOS, we can press keyboard shortcut command comma. My current theme is called All Darker Theme. So in here, I'm gonna search for All Darker and install this theme. And then in order to apply this theme, we're gonna have to click on Apply. But this theme is not currently added to this list of themes. So we have to either press OK in here or fully restart PHP Storm. And then new themes will be added to this list. As we can see, this theme comes with several styles. And I usually use all darker theme. So I'm gonna choose this one. And the next thing I usually do after installing custom theme is I'm going to search for theme to replace default icons. There is a plugin called Atom Material Icons. Let's search for this plugin and install it. After this, we have to restart ID. And then we're gonna see new icons in the sidebar. So that means that our icon theme has been properly installed. And by the way, icon theme has several extra configurations that we can adjust. So I'm gonna go into settings. In here, I'm gonna open up settings for Atom Material Icons theme. Right here, I'm going to expand icons theme, then go to size and line height. And in here, I prefer to increase line height of sidebar items. So I'm gonna choose custom size of 40, like so. And as we can see, space in between sidebar elements has been increased. There are arrow icons next to each folder, and we can also customize those. So to do it, we have to choose different styles of arrows. To demonstrate this, I'm going to choose Darkula, click Apply, and as we can see, icon style has been changed. But I prefer keeping default styles for icons, so I'm gonna get back material style and apply. Then let's switch gears and change font of the UI. Let's go to Appearance section right here and tick this option Use Custom Font. I'm using font called Denk Mono, this is a paid font. And the link to this font will be in the video description. So right here I'm going to search for Denk Mono and uh, use 20 pixels as a size. Right away we can see how all UI elements have been increased, but not the editor font. We're going to configure editor font separately in one of the next lessons. Currently there are lots of icons in the UI that I don't usually use on this side as well as on the right side. So we can hide those icons by unchecking the following setting, show tool window bars. And right after that, we can see that those icons are gone. And lastly, I'm gonna open up settings once again, go to new UI section, and in here I'm going to check compact mode option. This is basically going to make all UI elements a little bit more compact. So at this point, let's finish up this lesson. Link to all the plugins we have installed in this lesson will be in the video description, as well as the link to the Denk Mono font.